Hello, in this jQuery video, I am going to show you how to load, you know, get data from a JSON file using the getJSON method. So I've already got a JSON file, it's called favorite, favorites.json, created it myself, and this obviously needs to be in the format of, you know, JSON, which is just curly braces, open and close, then you have essentially a ID or you know a title an ID essentially then you have a value for that title or you can think of this as an index value as well and this just separates the index and the value out okay so let's implement it I've already got a button and I've already got the code set up so when you click it it'll you know trigger whatever's in here also when we when we actually load the JSON file I'm gonna keep it simple just print it out in the console but you can do whatever you want you can check out the HTML sort of modification and you know the appending prepending tutorials in this series and you can customize it with that actually as an extra task once you're done that's what I recommend doing so to load JSON you just do dollar dot get JSON and now you specify the file path for your JSON file as it's in the same directory favorites.json is i would just put favorites.json next you simply put a callback and this will have a parameter called result and you guessed it result is basically what we get from that file now in here because we've got this result but let's see what would happen if we just did console.log result let's run that now as you can see it's loaded it that's fine but you know it's just all you know bunched together if we want to actually do something maybe a bit more meaningful to it perhaps we want to you know just print them all out we can do that so instead actually i'll leave this and this is useful to see as well let's do dollar dot each so this is a jquery method which we're just sensing it's almost like a for each loop but specifically for certain jQuery data types um, such as JSON and we're gonna put index comma value and now all we need to do is do console.log index is the values right here and value will be these well values and I'm just going to put plus for colon to separate it. Actually, I'll put a dash so it's a little different. And I'll say plus value. So if I save that now, let's see what we get. Let's see if we can get this all on one line. There we go. Fantastic. Looking great. If I click, click me, so it's printed out the JSON, you know, the entire result here. But then it's also looped over every single one. And as the index refers to the first values of this one, this and this, and the value refers to half life two, Peter and Earth is okay. So that's how you essentially use the get JSON method. There are days more functionality around it, so being able to get maybe a specific, you know, value from a specific index. I'm going to provide an awesome link so you can check that out if you want specific functionality and you'll be able to have a look at that. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.